let's remind ourselves of composition. Like the arithmetic that we just saw, composition is a way of combining two functions into one. But it's done very differently. Remember that functions have inputs and outputs. Composition is done or can be done when the output of one function is the input of the other. And composition creates a new function that takes this first input and assigns it to this second output, bypassing this middle stuff entirely. Composition can be written a few different ways. Sometimes you see the functions separated by an open circle. Other times you see this, which is more descriptive. Either way, notice that composition is written out of order. That is to say, if you follow this chart, F is first, G is second. But when you write the composition, G is written first. As an example of composition, we'll also show you how to do it if you've forgotten. Let's say you have an iron bar that is heating up over time. So you define a function that takes time as its input and gives temperature as its output. Put. Now, as the iron bar heats up, its length changes. That's a property metals have called thermal expansion. So we can define a function that takes temperature as its input. <laughs> and gives the length of the metal bar as its output. And observe that the output of the first function is the input of the second. So if we want to, we can create a new function that goes right from time to length without any reference to temperature. And this is the composition. Again, rated in reverse order, second function first, first function second. Let's do this composition. In order for that to happen, we'll need equations for these. Heating is an exponential process. Thermal expansion is a linear process. And this notation tells us how to do it. Um, if we had, you know, L of a number, we'd replace this capital T with the number here. And then we'd replace capital T with the same number here. Now, we don't 
have a number, and that one was selected at random. But the process is the same. If we replace t with this function on the left, We replace T with the function on the right. And we have an equation for that function, which you then stick in. You could simplify this if you wanted to. This decimal times this number is just a number, which you can then add five to. But this is the important part of the example, the actual composition being done.